And if you hadn't uh, done that, I feel like worse shit was definitely going to happen, you know? <laughs> it was a bit rowdy. Still, we're still here to tell the story. Which well, is nice. What I nice. remember of it. Ah. And do you feel like generally better working a lot? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm like you've had a run now. You've yeah. had a real run. Yeah. No, what, was that, what was the name of the other show you did? I never really watched Mum. 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 That was really good. That was a lot, a lot better than this. And that ran? That ran for, for did three seasons of it. So we ran, it ran over four years, basically. Because it was, you do, the writer would go away and have a six month break after we finished filming and then sp spend six months filming, uh, writing, sorry. And then we'd all get back together. So there was big gaps in between each one. Um, but that was fucking great. And that's, that is, you know, of all the things I've ever done, that's the one thing I'd recommend to watch. And, and why, why is that for you? Why is it the thing to watch? Yeah. Because it's brilliantly written. And it's, it's brilliant performances, brilliantly directed. It's a, it's a lovely sort of observational piece. You know, it's, it's just really charming and lovely. And, and nothing ever really happens about, it's about a sort of woman who's just reaching her 60s, who's lost her husband, who's died. And it's about her rebuilding her life and finding love again, you know, when most people would sort of write themselves off or be written off at that age, especially women, you know. It fucking almost happened to me today, believe it or not. What, what did? This story. Yeah? It's pray tell. No, no, it's not for public consumption. Okay. The camera's on. But yeah, so, right. you know, but a bit of that. Right. You know, I mean, it's just funny. I mean, it's weird. It's weird shit. I mean, the f even the fact that you're saying this to me and then, you know, that. Strange coincidence. I mean, for yeah. fuck's sake, you know. Oh, I mean, you'll have to tell me about it off Yeah, camera. no, I will after. I yeah. will after. Okay. Are we all good um, to go? As well, just remember, Kasuf. Oh, I don't really want to do that, but anyway. Uh, ten past. Yeah, somebody take my phone and then if he messages, you can see it. Yeah? Yep. It's good, yeah. Uh, he's meant to be ten past seven, ten past in the reception. So he may, might be a bit later. He might fucking die in the interim. Um, Are we ready to go? Yep. Okay, no so uh, this is a rare treat for me because I love Ross. And we love go back a long way. We certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> but Ross, um, you know, initial member of the Hendon Mob, who were the trailblazers at the time, <laughs> um, at the time, back then, yeah. <laughs> it breaks the history yeah. now. I know, but really, <laughs> at the Trailblazers for, for uh, exploring sponsorship and creating <laughs> branding. Um, and, and their brand has continued on to this day. But Ross, as well as having loads of results in poker, is probably uh, much more famous now for uh, being a uh, big celebrity TV actor. Um, he's had uh, parts in the past, but more recently his career has jumped off to stratospheric levels by being um, in Mum, which was a tremendous series. Was it BBC Two, was it? BBC Two, yeah. yeah. And then uh, in EastEnders more recently. And God knows how his poker skills have connected him with the role he has there. Um, but uh, yeah, Ross. Andy, talk to me. Ask me some questions. Yeah. Uh, 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 questions? Uh, well, well, let's chat, let's talk. Um, uh, I mean, how on earth, I mean, this is the first time you've played poker now, what, poker term, three it's years? Three years, the first time I played in three years, yeah. Poker I talk. mean, what's it like whenever you've got, you're just like totally busy, balls to the wall, and you're now, like, like a lot of people, you know, uh, and then they come along and they play. I mean, what, what's, that, what's that like? Do you know what? I hadn't really thought about it. It's a good question. Um, I should be thinking about it now because I'm here playing the Irish Poker Open. <laughs> um, but it, it, I've missed poker. I've missed it so much. I've been fortunate to be very busy, as you say, with acting. All sorts of stuff been happening for me, and that's great, and I love it. But I, I dream about poker. I dream about being at the World Series. I don't mean like sort of daytime fantasies. I dream about it while I'm sleeping. Um, and I watch poker videos on on uh, on Facebook. You know, they come up. But is it your love? I mean, I, I always, I mean, because I've known you over a lot of years, I've almost felt your love is acting. Yeah. So what is poker? Well, poker is a very different animal, isn't it? It's a completely different. Yeah. You know, I mean, we can all, you can have interest in other things aside the thing that is our our vocation or our passion or our career or whatever it is. And for me, it's always been poker um, for all sorts of reasons. But I think 
talking about it now. I think it's it's the challenge of 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 what we all go through as poker players playing in big tournaments. It's tournaments that I like particularly, uh, and having the challenge of, of constantly having to sort of think on your feet, think about being being faced with decisions. Um, you know, how much chips has a guy got, and you know, and, and can I bluff him if I do? Can I float? Can I do this? Can I do that? You know, constantly sort of weighing up your opponents and how the table's playing, and it keeps but, your but, mind. But I waiting. noticed something as I was coming up to speak to you. I noticed, I mean, everyone had gone on dinner break, the five minutes gone on dinner break, and there was two guys playing out of hand. Yeah. And you were still there. Yeah. Watching them. What, yeah. What's all that about? Uh, well, I, ju I just joined that table, um, and I wanted to see how they were playing. It was a big pot, and I wanted to see how they were playing. Um, yeah, as you know yourself, it's really important. It's not just about what you know the cards in front of you. It's how your your, your opponents are playing. It's a big part. I just wanted to sit here. You dragged me away, so I didn't get to sit. <laughs> I, know. I felt you'd seen enough. You know, I felt you'd Thanks. seen enough. You saved me from but it. The, but um, I mean, I mean, basically, a lot of this series or the focus of it is um, talking to people and figuring out uh, how people play well and how they don't. Now. You know, there's been explorations of high performance people in all fields. Yeah. You know, you could apply it to acting if you wanted. But there's about four factors which kind of everyone seems to have. They've got some kind of goal, self awareness, yeah. they take responsibility, yeah, yeah and they work hard. Yeah. Now beyond that there's other things that some people have. So if you think of that list and now you look at your acting and you think, oh yeah, d does, does it seem like that? Does it seem like that? And then whenever you're now in a, in a poker game, when you look back in your career, um, when you've performed well, why the hell is that? And when you perform badly, why is that? Well, are we talking about poker or acting? Well, I, I mean, you can mesh the two because okay. it's also interesting, the fact that you move from, I mean, I think there's probably a big connection uh, between them. Well, I think with, with, with poker, we, you know, we, 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 you know, experience counts for so much, doesn't it? We've been around for a long time and you're constantly sort of drawing on the information that you've, you know, an experience that, you, that you've had, you've gained over the years. And sometimes it all comes together. We talk about being in the zone, don't we? Mm. You know, and when, we, I, I, it's, uh, to me, it's unexplainable. I guess it's just when you, you know, when everything just clicks in and um, it, you know it's hard to articulate I think but but just everything clicks in and you just not okay, understand if you the were rhythm. trying to find it in words where you, you feel like you're playing you're in the zone of being the character you are yeah you know you're playing in a, in, in a show and can you describe it like that maybe yeah kind of uh, yes I mean, yes does that make sense? yes it does make absolute sense yeah yeah you know sometimes when you are let's say you're doing a long-running show you're doing it on stage and and some nights you're not going through the motions, you're trying to give the best that you can, people are paid to come and see you. But sometimes you go, you sort of go, you sort of, it's almost like you cut an out of body experience. You're not just reaching for the words, they're just there and you're in the zone and you're just flowing through that character and, and all the people around you, you just, you, it's, you know, you're, you're, yeah, you're just, you're zoned in. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's, and it is kind of like poker. And, and, and for the, over the, the years, the, the, see the number of people who actually play poker, many of them are just doing something else. Yeah. You know, and often if they can play poker, they're pretty good at something else, yeah? Yeah. And, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, I mean, I was speaking to John Hesp the other day, mm -hmm. and, and he did very well, and it's almost like he was, he allowed his, his uh, focus and awareness through his life and his work and how he was to almost go in to his poker right and when he manages to do that yeah that's when he seems to play the best yeah well i, I can relate to that yeah i think it's the, it's the it's the same i think i understand what you're saying it's uh yeah, what, what, well, you, you're saying when you, you bring your, your skills from the outside well, for whatever it is. Yeah, but, but it's almost like, it's not so much even skills, yeah? So you certainly bring your skills, yeah. but you almost bring the best of you because mm. you're focused when you're doing your skills. Mm. So it's kind of different for everybody. So it, it's somehow, there's some kind of connection. And particularly why it's useful is if you are doing other things like a lot of other people, then, and that is, the main thing you're doing, then it's very, uh, 
to try and do it any other way is probably too difficult. You have to create a bridge between what you normally do and, and what I'm not sure I'm exactly following exactly what you mean, Andy. What, so you so you've got all these you've you've got your outside world which you're totally in charge of, and 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 then you you bring you come to poker. And it's almost like you bring the energy of that. To and is, it. is this a good thing? Well, I'm wondering. I mean, it's more a question. I'm trying to figure out how people do. You know, if you're going to do well today, for example. Mm. So let's if if we imagine if you describe to yourself that zone that you're going that you're in. You've been in it the past at various times. Mm -hmm. Now here you are, you've arrived a busy man, yeah. Yeah, other distractions. Mm -hmm. You know, when I met you just before, he said, oh yeah, very busy, you know, very busy, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, so you don't quite have the space that you might create if poker was a full-time occupation. Yeah. So, if you're gonna do as well as you can today, but you've got this huge momentum in the rest of your life. Yeah. Would it be one way to do it where you kind of bring that Bring all of that energy to it. Somehow. Well, yeah, in an ideal world, it would be, but but yeah, but I don't know if I don't know if that's possible because you're quite right. If if, if poker is your entire life and it's the, it's the, you know your existence, it's how you make a living and so on, and you're playing from one song to the next. I mean, obviously, sometimes you can get burnt out, play too much, but if you're in there doing it all the time, I think you know, and you're on top of your game and you've got all the skills and you bring them with you. You're going to find those times when you just zone in and everything clicks in. And it's all good. When you're doing, when you are very busy, as you say, outside work. So you don't think you're going to do well here? Well, I hope I am, but you know, I'm going but to. That be, feels a bit. Well, yeah, I mean, feels I a bit like. I, well, listen, I think I'm I'm more than capable of. Well, I know of that. Doing it right. I, do I have that kind of self belief that, I, that that yes, no? I don't. Not sure if I ever had that kind of belief in myself. I just turn up and do my best. And hope things go well and hope I play well. I'm always disappointed if I don't, regardless of where I've been unlucky or unlucky. I just want to play well. And sometimes it all it all fits together and sometimes it doesn't. But to get back to your point, it's yes, it is harder if you don't if you've only got that small amount of space. And you're mm -hmm. not doing it every day, you're not practicing every day. It's like anything, you know, if you're flying a kite, you know, you know, <laughs> doing you know, heart surgery, if you if you're only coming into it once a year you know regardless of whether you're really busy or not you're not as likely to to achieve i think but who knows i mean maybe sometimes you, you sometimes i've seen players that have been out of the game for a long time and they come back and suddenly i remember do you remember kirk i can't remember his name now oh kirk morrison yes and he was away from the game for a long time he turned up played the wpt main event and and won it and then went on a bit of a run and then kind of disappeared again. Sometimes when you... Well, you Kirk, I mean, because I remember speaking to Kirk around that time. He was a Canadian player, and he had a, a presence about him that was was very unusual. Yeah. You know, so I think he had a kind of unusual kind of positive kind of energy or yes, something yeah, like that. Yes, yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. Which, which you don't see that often. So maybe he was more able to do that. But it's, it, it's kind of like, you know, if you talk to 100 people, it'd be 100 different stories. So it's almost like you represent a significant portion of people, I think. Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah. At the, uh, you know, uh, maybe you've got the advantage of your past, but you're coming in, you know, as a busy man, and and you're trying to, you know, you're you're trying to make the best. Yeah. Of this scenario, yeah. but you're also just fucking happy to be playing. Yeah, I am. You know? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm delighted to be playing. Like you know. It makes no difference to me whether not not doesn't make it doesn't make a difference to me if I win. It doesn't make a big difference to me if I lose because you know I'm I'm okay at the moment. But yeah, I'm just happy to be playing. Uh, but I'll be happier if I'm in there and things start everything starts coming back to me and it slightly starts to hone things down and I'm, all of a sudden I'm in the zone with a huge stack in front of me and I'm playing the right moves at the right time and so on. I'll be a lot happier then. But I feel now, when I was talking to you before, right, now this may seem a bit weird, right? If I remember correctly, yeah, one of your kids is called Rocky. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I sort of feel like if I was talking to you 10 years ago, you know, that any man who calls his kid Rocky, <laughs> yeah, is kind of, is a toughness. So there's something, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just, I mean, it's a couple of things. I'm trying to encourage you to do as well as you can. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, which is maybe the way this thing is going, you know. But it's like, 
does that does that ring yeah. a bell? Well, you know, yeah. I'm just thinking, well, what's a little tiny? It's only tiny difference, you know, yeah, for yeah. most people. Well, I suppose the way the way you name your children says something about yourself, doesn't it? It says something about the maybe it says something about the way you see yourself. Well, right. And uh, all of my kids, I gave sort of quite bold names to. I've got a daughter called Alabama, and I've got two boys, Buster and Rocky. So they're all, they're all pretty like, get in there and fight. So maybe that is a reflection on how I see myself. Maybe. So, I mean, it's even now, like, you know, because you know I do all this body language shit and I'm watching people and all the rest of it, yeah? yeah? But you see when you were talking there? Now, if that guy shows up for... Uh, for the poker tournament. And now, I don't want to play against that guy. <laughs> I don't want to play against that guy. That guy looks yeah. a bit... Yeah. Just like he means business. Well, yeah? like, you know, I kind of, you know, it's not. I mean, it's only subtle, you know. But it's just a bit of a curl of the mate. It's sort of. Does that? I mean, does that kind of thing make a difference? Do you think? Yes. Yeah, of course. Does it, it does, help yeah. your focus? So you're trying to say follow things a lot, like like me. You know, maybe it's more. You're always following, trying to follow people, tones, looks, yes, moves. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like you need that positive energy, to kind of bring yes, to that because yeah. if you miss one or two things they may be the crucial things yes so it's almost like and to do that my sense is it has to be your type of positive energy no one else's so if right. you're a bit of a rocky and then you're also a busy man but you're you're doing that it's somehow it has to you know this is like, this is like coaching i like this this is <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're getting me into the zone Andy. you're reminding me of what it's all about you're quite i've got to be a hundred percent in there with my fists up and ready to go Watch yes me and yeah. engaging yeah you're right this yeah is look great. at that look at that look at that no no yeah. but it doesn't it feels fucking good doesn't yeah. it yes it does yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, it, it's 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 kind of a bit different for everyone so it's 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 in some ways now if i say any more we'll just fuck it up yeah because you've yeah you got me to where yeah. i need to be I need, I need to bring that energy you're right i, I can't be a bystander i've got to get in there and do what i've always done best and win tournaments do it man <laughs>